In this week's how-to video, Tax Help New Mexico Program Accounting Instructor Monica Sanchez talks about the Tax Help New Mexico Program and offers tips for filing taxes. So it will be our fifth year with Tax Help New Mexico. It's actually a statewide program um, that began um, in Albuquerque and now has spread across the state. We've actually prepared returns here at Clovis Community College for four years. The students take a class the week prior to classes starting. We come Monday through Friday and then all day on Saturday that one week. They take the course and then their final exam for the course is actually the IRS certification exam for volunteer preparers. And then as part of their course requirements, they're required to spend at least 20 hours volunteering when we open for the community, actually preparing returns for low income or elderly members of our community. They do not have to have any affiliation with Clovis Community College or Lincoln Jackson. We actually have two sites, Clovis Community College and Lincoln Jackson Family Center. Their only requirements um, is they can't have an overly complicated return. We will do itemized deductions and such, but they can't have rental properties or anything. Um, we also can't do a married filing separate return. And if they are single, their um, total income needs to be lower than $35,000 a year. If they're married filing jointly, it needs to be less than $50,000 a year. We are required to see valid original Social Security cards for every person listed on the return. If it is a married filing jointly return, both spouses must be present. They must also, of course, have their Social Security card and a um, valid photo identification. And then they just need to bring any of their tax forms, of course, any proof of, in, of income, W-2s, 1099s, any of that um, type of information. They also need to bring, um, this year there's a couple of new things. If they bought a home in 2009, they need to bring that information. If they itemized last year, we ask them to bring their last year's return. And then the, this year we also also ask that they bring um, their real estate taxes amounts because that can increase their standard deduction this year. That's new for 2009. Most common mistakes and that we spend um, time on in the class, um, believe it or not, is filing status. Um, head of household is oftentimes a misunderstood filing status. So we oftentimes have individuals who are married who still want to claim head of household or want to file as head of household. Not only are they not able to do that, they shouldn't want to do that. Married filing jointly is the, the best uh, advantageous status um, as far as taxes are concerned. The other common mistake we see, particularly here because we deal with students, um, is students that are college age that are still able to be claimed by their parents wanting to claim themselves. There's an assumption that if they claim themselves, they may qualify for more financial aid or perhaps they won't have to, then financial aid won't have to look at mom and dad's tax return anymore. And the tax law is very specific that if you can be claimed by someone else, you cannot claim yourself. So if a child is able to be claimed by mom and dad for whatever reason, even if a mom and dad chose not to claim the child, the child can't claim themselves.
For Freedom New Mexico, I'm Diana Hernandez.